Hello, everyone. This is Outnumbered. I'm Kaylee McEnany here with my co-host Harris Faulkner and Emily Campagno. Also joining us, Kennedy, the host of Kennedy on Fox Business. Exactly you you right. understand what I'm saying. This, this LED lighting is unforgiving, it's cruel, and it's unnatural. <laughs> Give me my incandescent light bulbs. Let me celebrate the life of Thomas Edison every time I make a duck face in a mirror. <laughs> the other thing is, you can't spell Biden without bidet. You actually can't, but let's pretend you can. <laughs> and oh, no. bidets also use uh, probably more water than a washing machine. Also, newsflash, you're still going to use toilet paper. And the end. Oh, I pray we would mm -hmm. <laughs> for so many reasons. Anyway, go ahead. Um, you know, recently I was in my favorite hotel in Las Vegas, and these bidets and toilets, they're, so, they're like spaceships. Like, there was so much going on. I think in a more lot ways of people, than one. That's let, right. Oh, yeah. Let me take it a place people. you haven't thought of. <laughs> Wait till you potty train your little Nash. Oh, <laughs> Good luck with a bidet. It was hard enough with the girl. I will lean on Sean Duffy for how to potty train a boy. Yeah. You have some experience. <laughs> with um, a bidet. But you, look, let's keep talking about bidets while China continues to emit and make uh. deals around the world. But also LED lights, when you dispose of them, they're toxic, mm -hmm. right? They're not clean, they're, they're toxic when you dispose of them, point. number one. But listen, we, none of us have enough time in our lives. <laughs> they do, and they, they, How they is that brag good? about not having air conditioning in Germany. It's like, whoo, Ooh. take your, your Bavarian <laughs> musk somewhere else, oh. sir. It's good for clone sales. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> okay. Uh, coming up. You get it. So yeah. for me, I, I have nine kids. The first two kids I had, I sent them. I didn't look at this. Recall, I went to uh, University of Chicago. One went to University of Madison. Um, they came out fine. You know, they're having a, a really hard time filling those slots in those ultra-liberal schools because they don't want to be treated like pariahs. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You know, Emily, we've seen some surveys that show disproportionately liberals over conservatives, don't want to be friends with conservatives, don't want to date conservatives, but what was interesting about this. All right, thanks for joining us today. And by the way, if you don't get to watch us live, you can always DVR us. We look great there too. <laughs> I mean, the conversations are just as good. And did you see Kennedy's heels? You can see them there too. All right, America reports now.